Yehosef Newman turned 72 on Monday, but he spent his birthday in the hospital, one of five Jewish men badly injured in last weekend's Hanukkah stabbing in Muncie, New York. Tonight, his family wants you to see this photo to show how severe the attack was. His daughter says he may not wake up from his coma. I'm begging you, if you are watching this, please stand up and stop this hatred. It cannot keep going on. Do you feel any remorse? The accused attacker, 37-year-old Grafton Thomas, has pleaded not guilty to state charges of attempted murder and burglary. His attorney says Thomas has a history of mental illness and found these medications in his apartment. There's been no history of anti-Semitism with this man that anyone knows of. There's been no history of violence with this man. But investigators are also looking into whether Thomas may be connected to the unsolved November stabbing of a Jewish man walking to a synagogue. I have no evidence at all at this time to indicate that. None. Still a very active investigation with a number of leads being pursued. The Jewish community here is shaken. It's possible that the person has medical, um, uh, mental and medical conditions, but he is certainly normal enough to be obsessed with Jews and then execute a planned attack. The stabbing is just one of about a dozen recent hate-fueled incidents authorities are investigating in and around New York. In Jewish neighborhoods, there's now stepped-up security. Wherever I walk, I walk with the pepper spray, I'm afraid. The suspect in the stabbing attack is due in court here tomorrow. He's not yet entered a plea on federal hate crime charges.